Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to create some presets um, for your print mode so you can be more efficient when you're bringing in files. Uh, I, I think it will also help uh, with not making mistakes. So we're going to customize some of our print modes and let me show you how to do that. So the image that I'm going to bring in in just a few minutes is has already been uh, I've already added negative space to that image in Photoshop. So I don't want to add any kind of rasterization to it. So what I want to do is create a print mode that has no holes, no lines, no rasterization whatsoever. And then I also want to optimize my blacks uh, because sometimes the blacks come over a little funky and they're just not a really dark, rich black um, when you print it out. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do, I don't have the job loaded. We're going to select our queue. I'm going to select two-step select. And I'm going to go ahead and make some changes right now. So I'm going to go over here to color adjust. And I had already... Um, you know, set this up. So let me set it to where uh, it would be for you. Um, all right, so this is what your normal two-step select is going to look like depending on your printer. So I have, this is my 800. So um, my white coverage is 210, but yours is probably gonna be 200 if you have the 550 or the 600 or the 500. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is make sure my blacks are always as black as they can be. So I'm going to change that to 20. Uh, I'm going to, I find that on the select paper, I usually want like a four saturation. For me, uh, on select, I get a, like a little white edge uh, around any kind of holes or anything that I have. So I'm going to change that to a four. Thank you, Joe Debbie. And then the most important thing is to uncheck Enable Ink Removal. Like I said, I'm bringing this in from Photoshop. I've already added negative space, so I don't want ProRip to look for any kind of transparency or anything like that and give me jagged edges. So I'm gonna uncheck Enable Ink Removal. Now I'm gonna hit OK. And now I'm gonna go up here to Q Properties. And I'm just going to go ahead and create my print mode. Now, let's say, for example, that you have an image that you're bringing in that has white in the design. You may want to change your substrate color. So all you would have to do, and you may want to create a print mode for that. So if you wanted to do that, you would just click on this white and choose a substrate color that would be closer to your background color of say your t-shirt or um, your hard surface or something like that so you could choose that here and you could even customize it further in here but I'm gonna leave mine white because I'm actually gonna put this on a white shirt so I'm gonna hit OK there I'm gonna double check that my ink removal is unchecked so I'm gonna click ink removal it is not enabled, and I want to leave that exactly the way it is. But if yours was enabled, it would look like this. And again, we want to uncheck that. So now I'm going to go down here and choose Create Print Mode. And I'm going to make this No Holes. And that way, anytime I bring in an image that I want to make sure has no added holes, uh, that's the, the print mode I'm going to select. So I'll hit save and then OK. And now if you click on this queue, you'll see my unit, Uninet two-step select no holes. Okay, so now let's bring in our image and I will show you how to make your colors more true to what you had in mind. So let's go ahead and click on this plus sign. And this is the image. Then I'm gonna let it load. Okay, now if you'll see here, um, it is way bigger than 
you can see it goes all the way over. So this is much bigger than 11 by 17. So what I'm going to do is thank you to Joe and Mickey. They showed me this cool tip, and I'm not sure how I've gone seven months without knowing it. Uh, so I'm going to click on this um, fit to page icon. I'm going to click to fit because I had moved that around. So now um, my dimensions are exact. So that is looking pretty good. So what happens um, is sometimes your reds and your blacks get a little wonky. So what I want to do is show you how you can make that correct. And if you hear that in the background, my husband is um, putting our dishes away. So you might be hearing some clanking. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to jobs and job color replacement and that'll take a second to come up okay so that obviously looks nothing like what I wanted it to look like so let's get this pink I'm gonna just take this eyedropper tool here and click on it now the color that I selected in Photoshop was much different than 90 magenta and 34 yellow. So let's fix that right here. So my cyan was actually 15, my magenta was 100, and my yellow was 100. And let me show you, I'm going to go back over here into Photoshop. Again, I'm using a Mac, um, so yours would look different. So let me show you how um, I was able to determine that. So I'm just going to click my eyedropper, I'm going to click on this red, whoops uh, now I'm gonna click on the red and I'm just gonna double click this and you can see my cyan was 15 magenta was a hundred yellow was a hundred so I'm gonna go back over into ProRip and again just make sure that my here's my input color and here's my output color so I'm gonna choose add and that's gonna add that job color replacement now I also want to do my blacks now on the 800, and I'm just scrolling up with my mouse wheel. Now on the 800, um, your blacks can look a little yellow. So let's, uh, or a little brown. And then I know on the 550 and the 600, they sometimes look a little gray. So let's click our black. Now in Photoshop, my blacks were 100 all the way down. So let's fix, fix that here. I'm gonna choose 100 cyan. 100 magenta and then a 550 uh, an eye color 600 or even a 540 uh, 500 all of those 100 100 100 would be your best bet but on the 800 the blacks can tend to look a little brown if you use a hundred percent yellow so I'm going to change mine to 90 then I'm going to just go ahead and choose add and you can do that to all the different colors that you had. So for example, um, let's take a look at the sun over here in Photoshop. And the colors there are 4 cyan, 40 magenta, and 100 yellow. So I'm going to go back over here and click on this orange and I'm gonna change it to four cyan, 40 magenta, and 100 yellow. Let me just double check that. I think that's what it was. 440, 100, yeah. And then I'm gonna hit add. So now you can see up here, all of those colors have been added. So now I'm just gonna hit apply, and then it's gonna bring up this warning, and I'm gonna click okay. And here is where you would check your color replacement preview, and I'm just going to click on that. And now my image looks correct. So I am ready to print. If I go over here to color adjust, you can see that the settings I had chosen when I saved my print mode are correct. I've got the black is black, for saturation, no ink removal. So I'm ready to print this. So I'm just going to hit OK and then click print. 
So hopefully this helps. Uh, you can do multiple different print modes. Again, I would definitely set one for any design that has white in it. Um, but again, hopefully this helps and have a great